Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we're playing as the new California Republic. So, we are using a couple mods including the USA States Redux mod which breaks up all the states in America as well as Canada apparently and Mexico into different states in which they can all kind of compete for power even though the world might fall apart. So, other mods we're using include, oh, even Greenland's separate, but some mods we're using besides the USA State Redux mod, Colored Events, State Center Tool mod, and Player-led Peace Conferences. So, let's just go ahead and choose our focus, in which I will go ahead and read this for us. A storm is brewing. We must prepare ourselves to the storm and safeguard the NCR. Very cool. We have the flag here. And it's 1936, we're led by Frank Miriam, and we have a total of seven infantry divisions, in which five of them are 24 combat width, and the other two are smaller divisions, 18 combat width, basically the same thing, the other ones just have a few more infantry pieces. Uh, we start off with a pretty good navy, actually. I've merged all the fleets together, or all the capital ships and light ships together, in which each are in a task force, which looks pretty good in my opinion as well as two things, or two task forces, of Submarino. So, just like my, when I played as Texas in this mod, I asked one question per episode. So, let's begin with one question right now. In what year did California become a state of the U.S.? What year? Now, I had to look it up. I'm not from California. I've only been there once, San Diego. But, in what year did the, what year did California become a state in the United States? Cool. Regardless... We have this focus tree here. The coming storm focuses more on industry and uh, industry infrastructure, and eventually you can get a research slot as well. While we must wait until 1936, February 23rd, to do our election, in which we basically get to choose who we want to become president. And let's make sure we're actually making divisions too. I forgot about that. Infantry division, National Guard divisions are okay. 24 is not bad. We might use some cavalry, but they're we might because they're pretty speedy boys. Uh, you know, let's train two. Let's train one cavalry division because we might need a little bit more speed depending on who we take out. So, just one division. Three divisions at a time, not bad. We have a population of 8.5 million. That's not bad. Now, Nevada, 31,000, 31,000, million point two. A little less than 100,000, 126,000, not bad. Really not bad. Actually, Reno, yeah. Carson City's got quite a few people in there. Uh, so cool. And we can eventually form the United States of America. We need to control a lot of places, though. Which will be known as USA, moves the capital of Washington DC, gets some stability, will core all the land you've taken, take the entire state, rather than just the cities for the best effect. Cool. Coming storm. And it's not quite we gotta wait three days. We could do this stuff. But you know what? Let's have an election. It only doesn't take too long, about a week. So we're gonna let three days go by. Basically say three days worth of stuff. And then do the 1936 election. A 36th election has been heated so far, with the three main leaders being Frank Miriam, a Republican who supports making the Pacific states of America, and uniting Oregon and Washington state. Upon Upton Sinclair, a communist who has had some populist movements in the past weeks, but still failing with few votes. James E. Davis, an L.A. police officer who was popular with the conservative voters, who is going to lead our nation, which I pretty much already decided that for this campaign, as someone recommended in our Discord server, or my Discord server, the link is in the description below if you haven't been there already, that we shall choose Frank Miriam. So, the NCR, or the New California Republic's second election is on the way. We have three main candidates, or candidates, hmm, typo, who have a chance of winning. We have James E. Davis, a police officer that has the rank of police chief, but has reports of corruption and anti-Semitic views. We have the incumbent Republican candidate, Frank Miriam. And then we have the unpopular communist candidate, Upton Sinclair, who will lead a glorious state into prosperity. Frank Miriam, because we get political power, stability, and we get more war support, more daily democracy support, and less communist support. Davis... He has he'll get you unstable politics, or Sinclair, he hurts you as well. But Frank Miriam leads away. Frank Miriam takes ten days to do his focus. If we're to survive the coming storm, we must trust in our leadership. Governor Miriam has proven time and time again that he's a capable leader with a pragmat pragmatic approach to governing. Though many around us have abandoned democracy, the NCR will continue to be a shining example of what democracy can offer the world. In which, hello, and we have the Republicans' power, national spirit, and. We get 1.12 political power every day. Not bad. We could improve working conditions, but I like getting more political power early on because I'm weird. Also, we have Walt Disney. So, yeah. That'd be really cool to get, but 15% more political power. I'm going to assume it's like 0.2 more around if we get this guy. So, well, let's see. Actually, it's more like oh, roughly 0.3. That's not too bad. Now, we could go down this way to get another research tree. These guys, or research slot, I should say. These take 70 days, which is mm, quite a long time. But I'd like to get down to local security as fast as possible. 
which looks pretty good for us. And we create our own factions and volunteers and offer to Hawaii, beginning of the Pacific States of America, which is really, really cool. But we need at least one of these, so we should focus going down at least one of these paths, and we can come back up to this path later on. The good thing about California, like Texas, it has its own oil, so that's not bad. Ooh, more population. We could really use that one. Military R&D, another research slot. Let's go with military expansion program. We are simply not able to produce enough equipment to even beat the Navajo. We need to ramp our production of military equipment. And the only way of doing so is by building new factories. We get three more military factories because we need more guns. Remilitarization of the Rhineland, worrying, but we're not too concerned about that. We're making some fighters. We're making some close air support. We're outdated on artillery. We have a little bit of naval XP, which I do want to make more carriers. The Yorktown class would be pretty good. Wow, low before anti-air. Holy cow. Nothing there. Increase that secondary batteries level. We have one, three, four, not level two. Okay, okay. Uh, normally I like throwing on deck armor instead of all that anti air, but we already have 9.4. How do we already have 9.4 armor? All right, cool. Looking good. Make some more carriers because I like the carriers a lot. And cruisers, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Go there. There you go. Doesn't really matter where we make them, though. We need more steel, though. That's probably one of the resources that we really, really need. So, let's see. Central California has some steel. Ooh, electronic mechan mechanical engineering. Let's grab some mechanical computing. Here are the research stuff we're doing right now. Delay doctrine, which is good. We already started down with the superior firepower. This one is already unlocked for us, so we just might as well keep it, right? We have basic machine tools. Of course, construction one. And we just got mechanical computing. Hmm. Now, you guys are done training, which is nice. We could use a little bit more naval XP. The subs are training as well. We got plenty of. Texas wants a non aggression pact. Well, we're coming for Texas eventually. Now, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, and I do want to let you guys know that this is on A historical, so I have no idea what's going to happen. We might get, you know, attacked really by a whole lot of different people. We just have to wait and see what, what direction people want to go in. A lot of democracy so far. Hello. With that type of icon, fellow Montanans. Well. There goes Montana. They're going fascist. And actually, how much political power do we get now? We get a little bit of lag. 1.44 compared to 1.12 with better, so. Revisit colonial policy. They've gone insane. Very good for them. Are we still training? How much more do we have to train here? You guys are not do doing too bad. Actually, we could probably fix some of these. Oh, these subs are okay. Oh, my goodness. Not really that great. There you go. We can't even get that. That sucks. If that's okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Train you guys too. We got some battleships. The CAS Nevada and Merriam, huh? Just keep making more because we got plenty of fuel. We got how much fuel? Currently fuel 70, 72.4. Current gain is one and a half. Basic machine tools. Second London Naval Treaty signed. Disperse industry. Might as well get more output. We need more, 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 more output. I know we've done, we've done Texas once. I really kind of want to do New York at some time. But Florida has its own unique focus tree, I believe, as well. A new government. A call for some great, a united right. Southern pride, another confederate state to the north. Westward we go. Eastward we go. Now, my only worry about playing with this mob is that... Ooh, old tactics, not bad. Oh, plus 40% division recovery rate. Wow. Wow. Eh, this one, other one isn't great, looks like. Bicycle infantry. They ride bicycles in Florida? Seems pretty hot down there. But, whatever. All right, let's go in military defensiveness, defensive program. California is an easy place to defend with mountains to the north that are easily defensible and a river to ourselves. California is easily holdable against enemy forces. We should build on these defendable areas and protect ourselves even more. So, oh, oh, Utah. Oh, you and communist of all things to do. Communist. So, yeah, I will play as Florida someday. That seems like a lot of fun. Form a faction. But like I was saying earlier before I interrupted myself, I am worried about how resistance is going to happen in this mod because resistance is no bueno and we only have so much manpower so hopefully there's a modifier that kind of mitigates or lessens the amount of resistance you get in each state maybe you can core each state that'd be kind of cool now hopefully we can form the psa i have no idea i haven't played this off screen this is the very first time i've actually i'm actually playing this again since i played as texas so we'll see what happens we have construction one that's good and Big Sky, well, Montana is now called Big Sky, which is kind of cool. Guns, we're doing okay. We need some mo motorized, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we gotta do that. The Republic of Texas reaches out. All Democratic nations who are willing to listen, 
Oh, it's going to form a democratic coalition. We'll see how this develops. So they're going democratic. We've gone democratic. A lot of people are staying democratic for now. Oh, there goes God's enriched empire in Arizona. Fascists. The Mormons went communist. Ralph Lawrence Carr. Colorado went democratic. And I guess the Mogollon Confederation, or New Mexico, went fascist. Uh, Wyoming went communist. I can't imagine they can do that well. South Dakota went fascist. North Dakota went communist. And Nebraska went fascist. Hopefully no one, no Europeans interfere because that would be really bad. Alpha Landon is in... Actually, Alpha Landon, do you have a... Of all countries, or, you know, states. Alpha Landon, leading Kansas, has its own unique focus tree. We like Ike? Oh. Chaffee's Armored Corps. That's kind of cool. There's some palsy. Now, it's probably good to go to partial mobilization. I do want to get more daily army XP gain, though. That would be really good. It's only 7% more. I'm going to go and grab this, though. We can really use a few more and speed this up a little bit faster. And then we're going to grab more army XP. Eventually, we've got to raise our conscription level, too. About 20 days left for that. Pretty good. Very, very good. Oh, and some marinos. I know this is probably not going to be really worth it. But we might want to upgrade the subs, even though they're not that great. I'd still rather have them do at least a little bit of damage before getting sunk. Wyoming. Yeah, there goes Spain. Just Spanish things. Can I upgrade you? No. Can we upgrade you all? No? Okay. Well, maybe upgrading that stuff was a waste of time then. Well, these designs must be so old, we can't even upgrade them. So I'll just keep making more no, naval XP. We might as well. Military Defensive Program. So, we've been brought an opportunity to build forts along our neighboring states. We have two options. We can either build our forts in the southern part of California on the border of Mexico and Arizona, or up north and protect our border of Nevada and Oregon. Which one shall we do? The north is already protected by mountains. A Mexican Maginot will do. We must defend against northwest aggression. Yeah, we already, we already have mountains up here. That's pretty good to defend. So, we probably want to... You know, we do have some mountains down here, too. Some hills, too, so... These guys are fascist, so we might want to be careful. Oregon has stayed democratic as well as Washington, and we might be able to form an alliance with them. So, a Mexican Maginot. That sounds like fun. Military R&D, though. We should allocate our resources to military research and development. This can help our military with super new superior weapons on the battlefield. A whole research lab. Leadership produced in NCR. Uh, I mean, in the Soviet Union. The Un Chinese United Front forms. Are is China already fighting these guys already? Oh, and also Hawaii exists, too. Yeah, we should play as Kansas sometime. Uh, social monitoring programs. Oh. Very nice. Fellow Hawaiians. Liberty Calls. So do they get a whole two two more research wow, slots? That's pretty good. China looking pretty good. Ooh, actually, Germany doesn't tell you which path it's going down until quite a bit later if it's on a historical. The UK wants to limit naval rearmament. Our recent efforts to build a larger fleet have been put us among the ranks of the major naval powers. The UK clearly feels threatened by our expanding fleet and has sent a delegation to our capital to negotiate a mutual arms limitation treaty. The treaty would be modeled on the Second London Naval Treaty and restrict the size of our capital ships as well as limit our overall fleet size and capital ships to not exceed the fleet of the United Kingdom. Terms are acceptable? Um, no. Come on, UK. Oh, The Rock. Is this a Dwayne Johnson? No, it's a Hubert Collin. We got big land up here, like big sky. But you're communist under Jim Evans, while you guys are fascist under Robert Wigball, and you look like the same dude. Okay, cool. Manitoba still exists. It's the land of seed and honey. We have Alberta, Northern Cascadia, Whitehorse Militia, land of the polar bear. That's cool. And Narco Alaska. Look at that. Ambrose Heth. Beautiful. A national integralist. Weekly stability. That's pretty good. The Republic of Ontario. Michigan is the Empire... Empire of Rust. Is that something you want to be proud of? The Empire of Rust? Maybe. I'm just... I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be known as the Empire of Rust. But maybe that's just me. Alright. Let's, let's throw some light cruiser stuff over here real quick. Yeah, maybe not you. We need fire control stuff. Fire control systems. Thank you. And that'll work for now. La Bella Provence. Oh, God. Oh, Annie Buehler. Bueller. Bueller. Oh, commie, huh? State of Maine. What are the cool states we got here? Let's see. We have Vermont. State of New Hampshire. <laughs> Fallout under Jane Charles F. Hurley. The Institute. How many cents you got down there? Let's see. Rhode Island. State of Rhode Island. State of Connecticut. The People's Republic of New York, of course. Well, I guess New York City. 
Upstate New York might be a little different, but Kami New York. By hey, he's colorized. Henry A. Wallace. He sounds familiar. Hmm. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, the People's Republic of New Jersey. So a part of New England is going Kami. Uh, let's do this one first. Military R&D. Do we have anything else here? First, let's grab some mechanical computing. After that, we're going to grab some more reinforce rate. Because reinforce rate is pretty good. Or who radio? Wow, it only took us until 36 to get some radio. That's all. 136 days. 38 days. Nice. Eight. And we finished our research slot. Nice. Synthetic oil. We probably don't need to do that. We're good on this stuff. We already have cash. That's pretty good. Navy. That's okay to do. Support companies. Military police might actually... That would be pretty good to do. Let's go grab some of this. That'd be good first. Let's grab some military police because we're going to need some of that later on. Oh, we need... Oh, we need more manpower in the divisions and more than 10% world tension. Okay, cool. So we can wait. We can expand our industry a little bit more. Expand our infrastructure, actually. I'd like to get down here. Oh, the... Oh, the bear roars. The army debate. Uh, we could do that. Civilian factories get more fuel. I don't mind some of this. If damage garrisons goes down, more population is something we could really, really use without spending more political power right now. Ooh. Well, to get this, you gotta go trade for oil. Trade oil for steel. I don't like that. Removing oil. I really don't like that. Expand it to LA. Get a civilian factory and some tungsten. That's not bad. Military factories would be pretty useful as well. Economic initiative. You get four more civilian factories. And you do get more oil over here, so that's not bad. I really want that population, though. Hmm. Eh, we're doing okay on guns. We're doing okay. Not great. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do this one. A new company has found tungsten in Imperial. We should help them to getting the tungsten resources and using them for possible war efforts later on. And we have enough... XP to do this. Patrick Heth, thank you. Up with the land doctrine, get more daily army XP. We need 4% more world tension, and we need more manpower deployed. Period. We need more guns. Actually, there's no common support either. Nice. George H. Patton, actually, we can train our guys a little bit. We have Charles. Ooh, he, ooh he's not. You he can't use that when he's a general. General, wait and see? Lee Oliver. Uh, let's go and get some more offensive. Yeah, we might as well. Reinforce rate's okay. Recovery rate's not bad. Oh, oh, hello. 36 factories is not bad, especially compared to states like probably Wyoming. Need a little bit more manpower. And, yeah, how much manpower do they have? 2,000. Nevada has none. Arizona has quite a bit, actually. One to five divisions less than us, which is good. Oregon has none. Washington has a little bit. Obviously, places like Texas, California, maybe even eh, Florida doesn't have that much. What about New York? Oh, they got a lot of guys. Not that many divisions, but they got a lot of guys. Eight, seven. Nice. Well, after this one, we got some trucks. Let's go ahead and grab what else? We got some radar coming along. Probably better artillery. 1936 artillery. We might get some tanks eventually. I'm not really sure if we're going to use them, though. Dominions break with the crown. The Empire's in, in a crisis. Oh, boy. Uh, the interwar artillery is probably pretty good to get. Yeah. We got about 30 days left for that. How, how's Kentucky doing? Isn't it the Commonwealth of Kentucky? Ooh, they kind of split. But they're probably staying that way. Let's see. Ohio. Oh, good lord. Ohio. Uh, let's see. Indiana... Not that strong. Illinois. And, of course, Illinois would go with the People's Republic of Illinois. Okay. Uh, oh, Iowa went fascist. They're the Iowan Empire. Okay. State of Wisconsin. We have Missouri. The People's Republic of Missouri. So that sounds like they probably went communist. Arkansas is pretty normal. Dem democratic. The People's Republic of Louisiana. We have the state of Mississippi. Um... Alabama's People's Republic. Man, they're very progressive in 1936. James W. Jim Ford. Alright, pretty progressive down there, I guess. <gasps> Earth Rivers. Yeah, and we saw that one already. Uh, oh, cool. Imperial Tungsten Corporation. The Bear Roars. Expand NCR territories. We need local security for this one. Oh, do we... Patton's Way. Pan's army model. Oh, Lloyd's way. Oh, let's opt out with your Operation Nevada and Freedom. Baja Expedition. Skewer the Phoenix. The official NCR. Oh, look at that. We do get cores on areas. That's nice. That's actually really, really good. The Bear Roars. I 
kind of think we can wait on that a little bit. I want to get more industry stuff first. I'd like more military factories, but look, let's expand in LA. The city of LA is growing and expanding at a fast rate. We should expand Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. The other one hurts our oil gain, but whatever. Delayed auction is good. Let's grab some mobile defense. 10%. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Yeah, we definitely could use more guns. Artillery's not looking bad. Here we go. Five army XP, too. Not bad. Uh, you guys. If I do this, we won't have enough artillery, but we'll be close. And it does save a tiny amount of manpower. Tiny, 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 tiny. Guan's Eclipse forms a giant united front. Very good. Yeah. Frank Miriam. The Washington of California. Go and read about this guy. Go right ahead. He served in California as governor until 1939. Wow. As a regional, we are a regional superpower. Very, very good. And we're working pretty well on this stuff, too. Get one line always working on that stuff. Cool. Is Mexico Azteca Rebirth? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's kind of cool. But I don't think they have a unique focus tree. No, it doesn't look like it. That would be really cool. Reform the Aztec Empire. Let's see. Seize the means of productions. I don't know if Mexico has a, a focus tree or any... Ooh, secure state secrets? No. Any sort of unique focus tree? That'd be kind of cool if they did. Oh, there's Sinaloa. Develop rural areas. Oh, man. Yucatan. How's Cuba doing? Oh, they're Cuban. They're doing. Ooh. No? South Carolina stayed South Carolinian. Democratic, I should say. Oh, we get more political power that way. I like political power. Operative slots, daily fashion support, common support, democracy support. What about here? Organization, defense. Anything unique industry-wise? No. No, nothing unique. A little disappointing in that. But, you know, if we're playing as Washington, or not Washington, we're the Washington of California. But, you know, if we're playing as California, we gotta grab Walt Disney. We just got to. Alright, now we have 100% stability. Great. One and a half political power every day. Bar and Stokes Mortar. Happy 1937, everyone. Happy, happy new year. More output. Less than a thousand guns needed. Nice. Artillery's doing okay. It's not great, but it's okay. We gotta grab some trucks as well. As we're slowly expanding our guns, we have an okay amount of naval XP. We could do a little better on that. Support equipment, not bad either. Are you guys still training? Oh, you guys are looking okay. Yeah. I'm gonna make the infantry probably keep them... We're going to replace one of those infantry battalions with artillery to make them actually 20 combat with. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so Ma. And Oklahoma went communist. Under Oscar Ameringer. Okay. Got a little bit of radar. That's good. Let's grab some more construction speed. That's always good. Nebraska Empire. Uh, anything else? The People's Republic of Tennessee. Okay. Oh, Appalachia. Uh, Appalachia. Oh, wow, we need more manpower. We got 44 guys in reserve. Oh, the Marylander Empire expanded in L.A. Yes, please. Uh, let's go and do the Bear Wars. California and its republic must be able to defend itself and intervene. Multiple ideas have been pitched by many Californian generals like George S. Patton and Lloyd Fredendahl, Fredendahl, Fredendahl on how we should model our new nation's army. More war support and command power, which we don't probably need more command power, but hey, I'll take it. And I'm glad they broke up these states quite a bit so that we can like build more stuff here. Eventually, we will build, like... A lot of infrastructure, so. Dust Bowl migration. Oh, uh, oh. Well, that gave us like 15% more monthly population, but it did cut down. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, on our consumer goods. We actually should have some more consumer goods to use. You're not great, but you're pretty good, Fred and Doll. Pretty darn good. Oh, yes, even with adaptable. I'll, I'll overlook your penalty to XP stuff, so. So, we had to take out. Nevada first. I'm going to put you guys over here. And you can go for Mr. House. And we're out of manpower, of course. Actually, what's the... Yeah, I think we just have the template for the cavalry. Not bad. I'd prefer to them if they were more military police style, but that's okay. That is A-okay. What's the next research done? Oh. Almost right now. Cool. Get some more cap. Improve machine tools. Good. Military police is great to have. We might need some field hospitals as well that might be really good for our soldiers because we only have so much manpower eventually we do get more cores maybe you know i'll leave it up to you guys should we use field hospitals in this campaign let me know in the comments below 
If we might get to them, we might not. We'll see what happens. We might use some of that. We don't really have any... Well, we could use Mountaineers. We do have quite a few mountains to break through across the entire nation. So getting a few mountain divisions might not be a bad thing to do. Hills, mountains are good to prepare ourselves in. Hmm, we might... Extraction. How much steel do we need? We're extracting 24. You know what? Let's grab some extraction first. Field hospitals. Mountaineers would probably be beneficial, but we'll see. We'll see. 66. Good, not bad. Go ahead and train. It won't take too long, hopefully, for them to train. If I'm going to force attack, if I'm going to just let the AI attack, I'm just going to let them just do whatever. Not bad, not bad. We currently have 15 and 3. That's... That ain't bad. The bear roars. 15 more days. Cool. After that, the army debate. And down here, we need just 10% more world tension. Ooh, prepare for naval warfare. Look at that. I didn't see that tree down there. This is a big old tree. I like what they've done with this mod. I, there's more, more and more and more. The army debate, though. Lloyd and Patton have agreed to sit down with the president of California to discuss the California Doctrine Program. Ooh, anarchist uprising Spanish Civil War. This will decide the fate of the California army tactics. Which we're probably going to go down with, like, superior firepower since we're already headed down that ways anyway, so... Yeah. There we go. I don't think it's a week to do that. We need constantly more artillery. I mean, artillery is expensive. Grab one. Keep you on four, because we... Texas. What are you doing, Texas? Don't plan anything funny, so the army debate. For the new professional and growing army. Concerns from the higher-ups command have reached us. There's a debate between the two generals of how we should model our army. Both of these generals are very intelligent and have been proven to be some of the best in the region. We have Lloyd Fredendahl, who is a general who believes infantry and artillery would be best in our area, since tanks and desert and mounted terrain have been proven to be have many problems. The other general is George S. Patton, who thinks the combined arms doctrine with tanks and casts would prove the way for California in future wars. Who do we pick to model our army? Patton's armor plan? Lloyd's army plan? Hmm. Well, let's take a look. So we can do Patton's way. Get Army XP, Motorized Army. You get Advanced Armor. Patton's Doctrine, Mobile Warfare. Combined Arms Production, which is not bad. I like that a lot. And Combined Arms, which is pretty good. Close Air Support Attack, plus 5%. Motorized Attack, plus 5%. Or Lloyd's Way, Army XP. Bonus to Industry for just Arms and stuff. Superior Firepower. Artillery Production, minus 15%. That's pretty good. Special Forces. Ooh! Environment Training. That looks pretty good. And it's all green! Well, we've already gone down superior firepower land doctrine, so let's go ahead and go with Lloyd's Army model. As much as I love, love Patton, let's go down this way, Lloyd's Army. Lloyd Fredendahl has proven to be an excellent leader in combat and planning. He proposes an, an infantry alongside artillery doctrine. Now, we could do warfare stuff, naval warfare, but, meh, it's okay. And we can only have, how much? 4%, so we can't still do this one, local security. We can wait. And we should probably raise our conscription level too. Support infantry, support weapons, support equipment. Eh, we'll do this one. Using support infantry, we can give our army an edge that other armies won't be able to repeat. Or give a repeat to. It's cool. We could ban fascist stuff, but eh, they're not really too much of a threat right now. <sighs> Very good. Go and train if you need to. Yeah, we could really use more artillery. So the next minister. I don't know. We'll probably go with the limited conscription, like I said. Unless there's... I don't think there's anything in the focus tree. The next person, though, should we should get... Should we get a war industrialist? A compassionate gentleman? Charles Washington, who gives us just slightly more political power. We've already got the, the best guy for political power. Hmm. Has created intelligence. Should we, should, should we get an elusive gentleman? Or maybe the backroom backstabber, a compassionate gentleman, the war industrialist? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I'll let you guys decide as I choose limited conscription. Because we need that right now. All right, are the guys still training? You know what? Let's go ahead, guys. Go ahead, everyone. Just go ahead. Just train, train, train. And Shang Shi joins the Chinese United Front. Can I actually? S no, we don't have enough divisions to actually send volunteers. That's not cool. But we get more cores later, so that's good. Anarcho Alaska sounds amazing. Oh, India's free. Hello. I love your hat. Let's see. Spain. Oh, how, how is. This going. Oh, that regional defense council of Aragon. I played them once. It didn't go so well. Our right to survive the Marco Polo Bridge incident. The UK. They're going more communist, aren't they? Oh, they have a fallen government. Wartime industry. Oh, ooh, Edward the Eighth. The war to end all wars, of course. British stoicism. France is. Well, I'm not sure which way they're going. I think they take a while to actually figure out which way they're going. Sudanland final fortifications. I've never played as Czechoslovakia. I don't know if I ever will be. Oh, and yeah. 
Turkey, you, you don't focus. Which way are you going? Well, not really sure. You utilize foreign capital. Hey, manpower. Great. So we got about a month left for dispersed entry. 70 day focuses, man. They hurt me so much. Oh. God. Italy. <laughs> Why don't you have a, a, a good good enough focus tree at the time of this recording? Oh, National Spain declared war on those guys, too. Oh, hello. Well, there goes the Carlists. How sad. How truly sad. Cool. And we have how many more days left here? Cool. Support infantry. Not enough world tension for us to really choose stuff here. Let's go get some more advanced rifles. Further research on rifle designs will surely give our soldiers soldiers an edge in battle. You know what? I'm going to do this one, actually. I want to get down here quickly. So, let's grab some more military factories. We need to militarize factories for the storm that is brewing. We shall build new factories in Sacramento. It only takes... 70 days to do so. And it looks like we just got a little bit more world tension, which is fine with me. Let's go through one more focus after this, and maybe we'll call it an episode. Ooh. Maybe we're taking a little bit too much fuel right now. So you guys go home. And do that. I mean, these guys aren't great converted battleship hull. You know what? I've never tried a campaign where I've used only, like, level 1 or pre-level 1 ships. That sounds like a really, really bad idea. Sounds like a really bad idea. But I've never done that before. I'm kind of interested in doing so. Can we use, like... Converted battleship hull carriers and win a war against Japan. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. 1937. Radar. I love radar. I love, love radar too much. Let's grab it anyways. Hey, the first industry. Don't mind if we do. We could grab this. We might use this later on. But let's look at some ship stuff. Heavy ship hulls. Battleships are cool and all. They're getting a little outdated at this point. Just a little outdated. Hmm... Sonar, death charge throwers, battleships. Yeah, maybe we won't use battleships. Maybe just stick with carriers then. Let's stick with carriers. And just in case we do use tanks, let's get the M2 light. Which sounds like a... Which actually, I'm pretty sure is a tank in a world of tanks. I've not played the game in a long, long, long time. Engine, three, political power, not bad. Oh, are we... Oh, we're still getting even more... Oh, that's right. We are getting more daily democracy support. Nice. So the fascist war goes down further and further. Party, so party popularity is a thing in Kaiserreich. Not so much here in... Sort of vanilla. Sort of vanilla. Central... Oh, hello. Central Cascadia. Oh, you went fascist. You have a non-aggression pact with the Italians. Well, Oregon, seems like Washington has gone a certain direction, which we got to crush. Construction 2. You know what? Let's grab some excavation 2 as well, because we need more steel. We can excavate a little bit, but not nearly enough. We could, we could pay other people for it. But it's really only going towards carriers, so I think we can kind of wait. We already have carriers. We already have a, a really good navy compared to everyone else here. No ships. Uh, Washington has a few ships. But they only have heavy cruisers, so I'm not too worried about that. Our, even our battleships could probably take those guys out, so I'm not too worried about that. And a few more days left. Oh, and a week left for this guy. After excavation one. Oh, we already have base strike. Yeah, that makes sense for us. That makes a lot of sense. Artillery, you know what, let's go ahead and grab. Well, we could still use these guys. Mountain infantry wouldn't be bad. Nice. So we had like what, minus 34 or something? Minus 32, so we got two more steel. Not great. Ever the eighth empowered the king's party. Alright, well good luck with that. Electronics, industrial. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys decide who we should have here, so. I'm gonna instead choose something I normally don't choose. Actually, we could lower our con Resource extraction. We could use a little bit more steel. Oh, we can't go down under limit export. So instead, you know what? I'm going to actually go with industrial research because I'm always going to be focusing on stuff in the industrial tree. So we might as well. Because there's not too much here. I mean, we could do improved worker conditions, but that wouldn't really help us that much. We already have enough tungsten, in, I'm pretty sure, and we need excavation three anyways for that. So we're looking pretty good there. And we'll do one more focus. One more. Just one more for now. Oh, local security. Great one. We must protect the rest of the democracy in the Pacific and the West and protect ourselves against dangerous rhetoric. Local security, better subversive activities cost, generate, oh, local world tension stuff, my apologies. Uh, justify war goals time minus 25%, justify war goal time on us plus 15%. We get political power, create our own faction, and send volunteer divisions, and get the Pacific Defense Federation. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's first episode as us playing 
as the NCR. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving maybe a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know in what year did California become a state in the Union. Regardless, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.